All right, explanation of the next video. We're gonna make some copper sulfate crystals. Um, copper sulfate is available in a hardware store, just as is. Um, it's a really common uh, fungicide, herbicide, uh, kills bacteria. Um, yeah, that's mostly what it's used for. In small amounts, it's pretty harmless and it washes away very easy because it's water soluble. So uh, it's really good for gardens uh, just to keep them uh, safe from critters. Uh, microscopic critters mostly all right so how we do this in a beaker we're going to have 30 mls of water it's distilled water we're going to put 5 mls of 98 percent h2so4 sulfuric acid and we're going to put 3 mls of 68 percent hno3 or nitric acid so sulfuric acid and nitric acid are commonly used in combination um, sulfuric acid is a great astringent it soaks up water um, when the reactions occurring and nitric acid is uh, going to be used here to encourage the sulfur from the sulfuric acid to attach to the copper making copper sulfate so the sulfur comes from the H2 the S and the H2SO4 of sulfuric acid um, so when we do that we'll add some small chunks of copper that's just tiny pieces of copper uh, wait patiently because this will take weeks to occur um, it'll be on a time lapse for sure um, and yeah it's going to take some time for these to grow but they tend to look like crystals they're blue blue green they're beautiful actually um, and they're usually adhered of course to the copper which is where they're getting the copper from to make the crystals so we'll see how this all turns out and that's that enjoy all right We've got our graduated cylinder, our sulfuric acid, and our nitric acid here. So we need 30 cc's of distilled water. Let's keep filling until we get 30, as marked very clearly on the glass cylinder. All right. 30. Place this to our beaker. We then need five mLs, so very, very, very small amount of sulfuric acid. Five mLs of sulfuric acid. Try not to get this on my fingers because it ran down the side. And I've got to rinse this out because I've put the nitric acid right in here. This will react rather strongly. And it's no good. And lastly, our 3 mLs, very small amount of nitric acid, very small. All right, mix it all together. And here's our copper. See, they're just little bits and pieces of copper chunks. And copper piping, actually in the bottom I cut some pieces off, but we're gonna just put a few of these flakes here in there. All right, and that's that. So I'll add this one last piece here to it. There's two small pieces here. 
All right. So we can see we got little bits of copper inside of there. And we're going to wait for those acids to go to work and see what happens in a few weeks here. So as it continues to uh, go through a time lapse every two hours, I'm going to collect some of what's already formed in here. If I can get it. You can see one really beautiful crystal there of copper sulfate. Copper combined with the uh, sulfur ions from the uh, sulfuric acid. And you get this. It's really something. Alright, I'll get a close up here because this is not focusing well. 